हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑन मैट्रिक्स फंक्शंस सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द फंक्शंस हैविंग मैट्रिक्स एज वेरिएबल सो फर्स्ट लेट मी डिफाइन द मैट्रिक्स फंक्शन सो ए मैट्रिक्स फंक्शन में बी डिफाइंड एज ए फंक्शन एफ दैट टेक्स द इनपुट एज ए मैट्रिक्स ए ऑफ ऑर्डर n by n and returns another matrix f of a of the same dimension so we can define various matrix functions for example such that f of a equals to e raise to power a or f of a let us say a raise to power n where n is any integer so for example if someone ask you to calculate a to power 100 which is not easy because you have to multiply the matrix a 100 times another may be the trigonometric functions of a for example sin of a or cos of a or hyperbolic functions and many more that is the polynomials of a so these are the examples of matrix functions now why we calculate or why we evaluate the matrix functions so we are having several applications of matrix functions especially in mathematics and physics few of them i have listed here like autonomous or non autonomous system of ordinary differential equations in control theory we are having plenty of applications of the matrix functions and where we need to evaluate the matrix functions in linear algebra obviously and then we are having applications of these matrix functions in image and signal processing because an image can be considered as a matrix and when you are performing some operation on image you have to evaluate that particular functions means output of that particular operation will be the value of the functions when image will be the input variable so let us learn about the computing matrix functions so here so let me take the case 1 and in case 1 i am taking that let the matrix a which is of size n by n is a is diagonalizable so it means i can write the matrix a equals to p d t inverse where p is the modal matrix coming from the eigen vectors of a and d is the diagonal matrix having diagonal entries as the eigen values of a now number 1 evaluate a raised to power n where n is any integer so what i am having as you know a can be written as p into d into p inverse if i want to calculate a square it will become a into a that is p d p inverse which is a into a p d p inverse so this will become p d square p inverse if i am having a cube so in the same way it will become p d cube p inverse so for any given n a raised to power n will become so in the similar way a raised to power n equals to p d raised to power n p inverse where n belongs to i 
So, for example, if let us take A is a 3 by 3 matrix having eigenvalue lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, then I can write a raised to power 100. So, let us say find a raised to power 100. So, a raised to power 100 will become P which is the model matrix for A and then lambda 1 0 0 0 lambda 2 0 0 0 lambda 3 it is d. So, d raised to power 100 into p inverse. So, this will become p lambda 1 raised to power 100 0 0 0 lambda 2 raised to power 100 0 0 0 lambda 3 raised to power 100 into p inverse. So, in this way we can calculate various powers of a given matrix. So, one more thing need to mention here since I have written a n belongs to i. So, for negative integers we will define a raise to power n only when n only when matrix a is invertible. So, please note uh, take care of it. Now, let me take the second case evaluate f a equals to e raise to power a, where a means exponential of matrix a. So, as we know e raise to power a, so if I open the series it will become i plus a plus a square by factorial 2 plus and so on up to infinity. So, I can write this particular function e raise to power a in terms of this infinite series, in terms of this infinite series if the series is convergent. So, there is a question about the convergent of this series. So, if I talk about convergent, I can write e norm of e raised to power a as e raised to power norm of a. And since a is a matrix of order n by n, so a will be finite. This gives me e raised to power a is less than infinity and hence the series is convergent. In fact, uniformly convergent. So, this is about the convergence of this series. So, let us come back to our evaluation. So, I can write this function. I can I write p i p inverse because a is diagonalizable. So, I can write a equals to p d p inverse. So, this a I can write p d p inverse plus 1 upon factorial 2 and then this will become p a square will become from the previous evaluation p d square p inverse and so on. So, this I can write p i plus d plus d square upon factorial 2 in the same way next term will become d cube upon factorial 3 and so on into p inverse. So, this is p and if you see this round bracket term it is nothing just e raise to power d into p inverse. So, what I got e raise to power a equals to p e raise to power d p inverse. Now, the question is if d is given to you how to evaluate this e raise to power d. So, 
if let us assume that d equals to lambda 0 0 0 0 or let me write lambda 1 lambda 2 0 lambda n ok. So, it is n by n matrix. So, then d square will become lambda 1 square 0 0 0 lambda 1 lambda 2 square 0 and in the same way lambda n square. So, if I calculate i plus d plus d square by 2 and so on and which is nothing just e raised to power d. So, this comes out to be from i first entry will be 1 plus from here lambda 1 plus lambda 1 square upon factorial 2 from this matrix and so on 0 0 then the 0 the second entry here will become 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 2 square by factorial 2 and so on 0 and in this way 1 plus lambda n plus lambda n square by factorial 2 and so on. So, this is the matrix e raised to power d and this is nothing just this becomes e raised to power lambda. So, this I can write simply e raised to power d if my d is this one then e raised to power d will become e raised to power lambda 1 0 0 0 0 e raised to power lambda 2 0 0 0 e raised to power lambda n. So, you can calculate e raised to power d quite easily. So, hence you can cal calculate e raised to power d. Let us take an example of it. Find e raised to power a where a is given as 1 5 4 2. So, let us see the solution of it. So, here the eigen values of a is lambda equals to minus 3 and 6. The eigen vector x 1 corresponding to lambda equals to minus 3. So, the eigen vector corresponding to lambda equals to minus 3 is x 1 and let us say the eigen vector corresponding to lambda equals to 6 is x 2 since both the eigen values are different. So, they will be having linearly independent eigen vectors and hence matrix is diagonalizable. So, if we calculate x 1 that is the eigen vector corresponding to lambda equals to minus 3. So, it comes out to be minus 5 by 4 and 1. Similarly, if I calculate x 2 which is the eigen vector corresponding to lambda equals to 6, it comes out to be 1 and 1. So, from here I can write the matrix A. So, I can write A equals to P uh, that is my matrix A is 1, 5, 4, 2. So, this is equals to P D p inverse. So, matrix p is minus 5 by 4 1 1 1 means second column. Here d is lambda 1 which is minus 3 0 0 lambda 2 which is 6 and then p inverse. So, p inverse comes here for minus 4 upon 9 4 upon 9 4 upon 9 and 5 upon 9. Now, e raised to power a will become p e raised to power d p inverse. So, this will become p e raised to power d will become e raised to power minus 3 0 0 e raised to power 6 into p inverse and this will become 
if I evaluate this multiplication or product of these 3 matrices for e raised to power 9 plus 5 upon 9 e raised to power 3 will be the first entry 5 e raised to power 9 minus 5 upon 9 e raised to power 3 will be the second entry for e raised to power 9 minus 5 upon 9 e raised to power 3 will be the third entry means the second uh, first entry of the second row and then 4 e raised to power 9 plus 4 upon 9 e raised to power 3 will be the last entry. So, this is my answer that is e raised to power a. Now, consider the second case. In the first case, we have considered that a is a diagonalizable matrix but suppose a is not diagonalizable then we can use the jordan canonical form of a for finding the function of a for example if i want to evaluate case 2 when a is not diagonalizable then by the Jordan canonical transformation I can write A equals to S j S inverse and how to calculate it you have learned in the previous lecture. So, now if I want to elevate let us say A raised to power n. So, here A raised to power n will become S into j raised to power n into s inverse and now how to calculate j raised to power n. So, I will evaluate it with the Jordan blocks of various size. So, let me take a Jordan block of size 1. So, if lambda 0 is there, so this raised to power n will become simply lambda 0 raised to power n. So, no problem with Jordan block of size 1. Now, if you take Jordan block of size 2, so lambda 0, 1, 0, lambda 0. So, let us assume this is my j. So, now if I calculate j square, it will become lambda 0, 1, 0, lambda 0 into lambda 0, 1, 0 and lambda 0. So, if I multiply these two matrices, it comes out to be lambda 0 square 2 lambda 0 0 and then it will become lambda 0 square. If I calculate j raised to power 3, so it will be j square into j. So, it means I have to multiply again with this matrix here into this matrix. So, this becomes lambda 0 cube 3 lambda 0 square 0 and lambda 0 raised to power 3. So, this is about 2 by 2 matrices. Similarly, we can obtain it for 3 by 3 Jordan blocks or Jordan blocks of any size. So, in general if I am having a Jordan block of size k by k having diagonal entries at lambda, then the power of n of the Jordan block is given by lambda n as the first diagonal entry, then n c 1 lambda raised to power n minus 1, n c 2 lambda raised to power n minus 2 and so on, then 0 lambda raised to power n, n c 1 and so on and in this way. Okay. One more thing you have to note here that the entries of this upper triangular matrix are 0 for term involving n c r whenever r is greater than n. So, if I use this result for calculating if j is let us say a 3 by 3 block, so lambda 0, 1, 0, 
जीरो लेमडा जीरो वन जीरो जीरो लेमडा जीरो सो यूजिंग दिस जनरल फॉर्मूला हियर जे स्क्वायर विल बिकम लेमडा जीरो स्क्वायर देन एन सी वन मीन्स टू सी वन लेमडा जीरो रेज टू पावर एन माइनस वन दैट इज टू माइनस वन वन सो इट विल बिकम टू लेमडा जीरो देन नेक्स्ट टर्म विल बिकम एन सी टू लेमडा जीरो रेज टू पावर एन माइनस टू सो एज यू नो एन सी टू विल हियर एन इज टू सो टू सी टू विल बिकम वन सो इट विल बिकम वन जीरो लेमडा जीरो स्क्वायर टू लेमडा जीरो 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 लेमडा जीरो स्क्वायर इफ समन आस्क जे क्यूब सो इन द सेम वे नाउ एन विल बिकम थ्री सो लेमडा जीरो क्यूब थ्री सी वन विल बिकम थ्री लेमडा जीरो थ्री माइनस वन विल बिकम पावर्स विल बिकम टू देन नेक्स्ट विल बिकम थ्री सी टू सो थ्री सी टू विल अगेन विल बिकम थ्री एंड देन इट विल बिकम लेमडा जीरो जीरो लेमडा जीरो रेज टू पावर थ्री लेमडा थ्री लेमडा जीरो स्क्वायर जीरो जीरो लेमडा जीरो रेज टू पावर थ्री सो दिस पर्टिकुलर मैट्रिक्स गिव्स अज द जनरल पावर ऑफ ए जॉर्डन ब्लॉक सो इन दिस वे यू कैन कैलकुलेट ए रेज टू पावर एन एज पी एस इंटू ए रेज टू पावर एन इक्वल्स टू एस इंटू जे रेज टू पावर एन इंटू एस इनवर्स एंड वेयर j रेज टू पावर n कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड ब्लॉक वाइज यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला प्लीज नोट डेट द जॉर्डन कैनोनिकल फॉर्म विल बी हैविंग डिफरेंट ब्लॉक्स सो यू हैव टू अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला ब्लॉक वाइज सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम हैविंग एम जॉर्डन ब्लॉक मैट्रिक्स लाइक दिस थ्री वन जीरो 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 थ्री जीरो 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 टू टू जीरो एंड जीरो 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 फाइव लाइक दिस दिस इज माय जॉर्डन ब्लॉक मैट्रिक सो हियर आई एम हैविंग थ्री जॉर्डन ब्लॉक्स वन ऑफ साइज टू करस्पॉन्डिंग टू लेमडा इक्वल्स टू थ्री एंड रेस्ट टू आर ऑफ साइज वन करस्पॉन्डिंग टू लेमडा इक्वल्स टू टू एंड लेमडा इक्वल्स टू फाइव सो इफ समन आस्क मी राइट जे रेज टू पावर फोर सो नाउ आई विल यूज आई विल कैलकुलेट इट ब्लॉक वाइज सो हियर एन इज फोर के इज टू हियर सो फर्स्ट एंट्री विल बिकम थ्री रेज टू पावर फोर सेकेंड एंट्री विल बिकम फोर सी वन इन टू थ्री रेज टू पावर फोर माइनस वन then 0 here and 3 raised to power 4 so this is for the first block now second block it will become 2 raised to power 4 and for third block it will be 5 raised to power 4 so this will become the corresponding j raised to power 4 matrix so you have to calculate it block wise now and it will be quite easy to calculate using the given formula now case uh, b evaluate e raised to power a a is given as s j s inverse so again e raised to power a will become i plus a plus a square upon factorial 2 and so on so this will become s i into s inverse plus s j into s inverse plus s j square s inverse upon factorial 2 and so on so this i can write s i plus j plus j square upon factorial 2 plus and so on in finite series into s inverse and this will become s Into e raised to power j 
A s inverse. Now, how to calculate this e raise to power j? Again, you know that e raise to power j can be written as i plus j plus j square upon factorial 2 and so on. And you know if j is given how to calculate j square and various powers of j. So, if I see this, so this will be if I take a Jordan block of size k. So, i plus means I am writing j, but it is h in slide. So, you can consider it a j a Jordan canonical. So, i plus h plus a Jordan block. So, h is a Jordan block here. So, i plus h plus h square h square by factorial 2 up to infinite terms. So, i is this, h is this one, h square is given by this one. So, if I add all these. So, final e raise to power h comes out to be e raise to power lambda, e raise to power lambda, e raise to power lambda upon factorial 2 and it will go up to e raise to power lambda upon factorial k minus 1. The second row will be 0 e raise to power lambda, e raise to power lambda and it will go up to e raise to power lambda upon factorial k minus 2 and so on. So, in this way you can evaluate e raise to power h. And since J is a Jordan uh, having various Jordan blocks, so this formula will be uh, have to apply each Jordan block separately based on the size and given eigenvalue. So, let me take one more example of this. So, let me take an interesting example, find e raised to power j for the matrix with characteristic polynomial H C of A lambda equals to lambda minus 2 raised to power 3, lambda minus 3 raised to power 3, lambda minus 1 raised to power 2 and geometric multiplicity of each eigenvalue, each 2. Okay, so, first of all we have to write the Jordan canonical form of such a matrix. So, if I write the Jordan canonical form, so total size of the matrix becomes 3 plus 3 plus 2 8 by 8 matrix. So, here lambda equals to 2 will occur 3 times in the main diagonal and geometric multiplicity is 2. So, there will be 2 Jordan blocks corresponding to lambda equals to 3. So, if I make the factors of 3 as 2 integers, so it will become 2 plus 1. So, here again I am iterating that I do not consider the order 2 plus 1 or 1 plus 2 I am taking the same. However, if you talk about the complete Jordan canonical form, there will be different matrices. So, here 2, 1, 0, 2. So, this will be the first Jordan block corresponding to lambda equals to 2. Another one will come from here. So, it will be simply a Jordan block of size 1. Now, come to this factor. Here again 3 geometric multiplicity is 2. So, 2 blocks. So, 3 can be factored in 2 integers as 2 plus 1. So, I will be having 3, 1, 0 3 and again 3 here and finally come lambda minus 1 square. So, here algebraic multiplicity is 2 of lambda equals to 1, geometric multiplicity is 2. So, there will be 2 factor. So, 2 integers with sum is 2 each 1 plus 1 positive integers. So, then I will be having 1 and 1. 
So, this is my matrix J. Now, what I need to calculate? E raised to power J. So, first I will calculate for this. So, it will become E square E square because e raised to power lambda e raised to power lambda then e raised to lambda upon factorial to 0 e square. Then I will come for this one. So, it will become e square then I will come to the Jordan block e raised to power 3 e raised to power 3 0 e raised to power 3. Then I will come here e raised to power 3 e and e. and rest will be 0. So, this is the corresponding e raised to power j for such a given matrix. So, in this way you can write e raised to power j and e raised to power a will become s into e raised to power j into s inverse. So, in this lecture we have learned how to evaluate various functions especially a raised to power n and e raised to power a for a given matrix A, when A is diagonalizable and A is not diagonalizable. If you are having trigonometric function, you can always write trigonometric function in terms of exponential function. So, you can calculate exponential using this process and then by performing the corresponding operations, you can evaluate the given trigonometric function. So, with this I will end this lecture, these are the references, thank you very much.